Welcome to Design Domination, where you'll learn to become a better, more business-savvy designer so you can dominate your competition. Hi, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Colleen Grotzer, and this is a short but special episode of Design Domination. I thought it might be helpful to you to alternate some mini episodes with the longer episodes. And I'm calling the series Creative Briefs, and they will include quick design or marketing related tips. In this episode, I'll talk about how to find out what fonts were used for something. So first, figuring out fonts used in images. There are several ways to try to find out what font was used when you only have an image to go by. Most of these methods involve uploading a clear high contrast image and then specifying which letters were used. So you've got what the font, which has a website and an app, fontscroll.com, which has a page on its site called Maturator. So that's fontscroll.com slash Maturator. And then whatfontis.com. Another one is called Identifont, and that one asks you questions based on various traits such as serif versus sans serif, and then you keep filtering down until you see something similar. You can also ask other designers in graphic design groups or go to Quora and go to the typeface identification category. Now, if you have a PDF, there is a high likelihood of figuring out the fonts that were used. In Acrobat, you simply open the file and go to File, and then Properties, and then Fonts to see a list of the fonts that have been used. Now, there's one caveat here. If prior to making the PDF, the text was converted to outlines anywhere, or that text was made into a raster image, then any of those instances will not show in that list as those are no longer recognized as text or fonts. I hope you found this creative brief helpful. Links to the sites and the app are in the show notes. If this has been helpful to you, it would help me out if you could tell others, share this episode on social media, and leave a review in iTunes. If you're interested in getting design mentoring to enhance your skills, or if you need help with a freelancing issue, go to creative-boost.com and click on coaching. And as always, I appreciate your feedback, so feel free to comment on the website under the episode or shoot me over an email at info at creative-boost.com.